In a game where athletes only get bigger, faster, and more physical, football is battling a seemingly unsolvable issue, the concussion epidemic. However, a groundbreaking two-year study at University of New Hampshire aims to change that. I took a shot, right? Like, why not? Um, Coach Mack really had nothing to gain. He had, he had a lot to risk by taking on this, this idea, this concept. I thought the idea was tremendous and everything, but I didn't know how it would fit and mix with how we, how we play and coach football here. It's mixed in well. Eric Schwartz's program is called HUT, or Helmetless Tackling Training. It relies on two main components. First, get real data on the collisions that players sustain. Sensors put on the players measure impacts during practices and games. They measure the volume, magnitude, and location of hits. Every individual is different, and every concussion is different, and every play that might cause a concussion is different. I could have two subjects in my study both of them sustaining 150 G's of an impact. And we've measured them that high. And that's a really, really high impact. One of them could, could sustain the concussion and the other one could just stand up and walk away. The other component is aimed at actually retraining the way players hit by spending a portion of practice tackling without helmets. The idea is to keep their heads out of the game. I would show him a series of drills that we do tackling with helmets that we do without helmets, you know, that could help us become better tacklers. Someday, if we can show it works here, and we're doing it on the high school level as well, if we can show it works on the high school level, and then we can get widespread adoption of this, then we can start to talk about decreasing injuries on a widespread basis. It's just not about the University of New Hampshire. You know, this is about an opportunity to show people that if we do this thing the right way, we can teach it to a lot of different people and it keep our sport going, keep our sport alive.